सी वी ई टू जीरो टू टू थ्री जीरो वन नाइन जीरो सो पीपल कॉल इट एज फॉलिना स्टफ लाइक दैट सो इट्स लाइक ऑलमोस्ट टू डेज टू थ्री डेज दैट आई हैव बीन फॉलोइंग विद थ्रेट इंटेलिजेंस वॉट इज बीन गोइंग ऑन वॉट आर द बेसिक थिंग्स दैट वी नीड टू लुक फॉर फ्रॉम डिटेक्शन स्ट्रैटेजी सो टूडेज एपिसोड आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू कवर एवरीथिंग लाइक वॉट आर द डिटेक्शन स्टेप्स वॉट इज दिस सी वी ई ऑल अबाउट हाउ यू शूड केयर अबाउट एंड एवरीथिंग ओके सो दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ स्टफ दैट आई हैव प्रिपेयर सो आई लीव डाउन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन डोंट वरी अबाउट इट सो दिस गेट हब रिपोजिटरी आई हैव जस्ट कंपाइल्ड फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ द थ्रेट इंटेलिजेंस रिपोर्ट्स दैट आई कूड कैप्चर फ्रॉम ओपन इंटरनेट सो दे आर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल लॉट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी कम्युनिटी हु इज एक्टिवली वर्किंग ऑन गैदरिंग थ्रेट इंटेलिजेंस सो आई जस्ट थॉट टू पुट ऑल ऑफ दोज इन्फॉर्मेशन इन टू सिंगल प्लेस दैट कैन बी हेल्पफुल फॉर एवरी वन ओके ओके सो द फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज दैट वॉट इज दिस threat all about okay so this is um, all about msdt that is microsoft uh, windows support diagnostic tool so that is by default a legitimate tool um, that is used by microsoft okay so you can just read it you can google it what is this tool actually all about now um, this particular uh, tool or it there was a previous vulnerability which was not really directly related to this which is like cv20214044 okay um so security researcher naosec was um targeting and and trying to uh, you know identify some samples uh, uh in virus total for identifying anything so uh, i have linked down everyone's profiles everyone's thing in this github repository so he was trying to identify some samples and that time he has identified this particular issue where you could have uh, uploaded html and you uh, in the code basically and you could have gained privilege uh, uh, and perform remote code execution using this msdt feature okay that will particularly uh, uh use uh, uh like all by default windows feature nothing external but it will load up all of your executables all of your urls outside okay but there was a brief timeline okay about this particular issue so april uh, 12 2022 so this was first reported to microsoft team okay and um, so you can see that was reported by sado chasing that was the apt hunting group um but um, on 21st so microsoft uh, closed this particular issue so there was uh, another uh, thing that you can see so this was the particular thing so uh, they have closed this particular issue there might be some uh, misconfusion or some misunderstanding that might have happened um they thought okay so uh, they they basically related to this particular issue for the record of mstd execution with macro and it was a like disabled issue because if e macro is not enabled in any of um what document you cannot execute that particular code but that is not true for this particular case so that brings today's vulnerability today's report so um when neosec tweeted about this particular vulnerability he has exactly pointed out this particular similar stuff that i will show you in a second uh, i have dumped uh, the samples as well and i'll show you in a second what is exactly this thing is happening so that time there are many security researcher trying to uh, you know pull this particular thing to microsoft eyes they have tried to uh, gather further evidences what is going on and what not okay so finally microsoft has acknowledged this that they have named it as cve 20223010 as we speak in this particular video um so now uh, i have pointed out uh, the list of iocs are there so there is a absolute fabulous blog uh, by hundreds written mostly uh, i believe by john hammond so you can refer that to understand how this uh, uh 
thing basically works okay but let me take you to my console for a second and let me show you okay so i have downloaded these two samples so this was the original sample that uh, neosec was referring to uh, i have downloaded it from virus total and this was another html document that is basically uh, pointing to uh, uh, the malicious thing inside the code okay so let me do one thing let me uh, unzip this particular zip file for you and let me show you what is going on inside that okay okay so it's the standard password over here okay it's done so now the interesting stuff if i do a unzip on this document file because remember document file is a, a ole file right so you can unzip it because it's kind of zip formatted uh file okay so i don't okay no no not the zip one but the doc one yes so now you see uh i have interesting stuff over here now all of this interesting stuff fields go to inside this particular location okay so if you see this particular full code uh, let me do one thing let me quickly grab that for you as well um, yes so now if you see the target file so this is the url that i was talking about okay uh, so everything is uh, loaded into this particular url okay so now what i have done as i told you i have also unzipped that uh, uh, like downloaded that uh, zip file for you okay because this particular link is not live right now okay so uh, don't worry i have dumped uh, these samples in my github repository but but disclaimer guys do not use it for any uh, harm any uh, like malware spreading or stuff like that feel free to use it for your own um, research purpose own understanding purpose okay uh, let me unzip this rd file as well so standard password oops yes so now it has been uh opened up unzipped so now what i am gonna do um uh, let me open that file for you okay so now this is interesting guys so you see they are so this basically an html file and if you see the script file over here so there are a lot of indentation and lot of a values okay initially it would look something like that doesn't make any sense but if you want to execute this particular code there is has to be some uh, a typical length of this particular file otherwise it won't execute okay so that is the reason you are getting or you are seeing so many um, slash slash a files or a um, patterns is being written over here okay so now if you see over here so there is a base 64 code that is happening over here so from big 64 string and this is the base 64 string guys right so what we can do we can simply decode this one um, feel free to use any of uh, like a uh, editor uh, so i would be using shiver shape because that's very convenient and easy to use now everything lies inside that code guys okay so now if you see if you let me zoom the screen little bit so now if you see this particular thing over here so what this thing is basically doing everything lies over here right so it is opening a command prompt with cmd.exe it is starting a process again dollar value symbol within the variable it is passing window style hidden so it will not let you know that something is being going on okay it will try to kill some tasks so basically msdt is getting killed if that msdt is process is being run and it will start up another process within the command prompt with a hidden argument inside this directory okay it will go inside your temp directory it will create these files okay so rb rgb.exe it will open up your some files like 1.t 1.c it will try to expand 1.c and in ultimately it will uh, open up rgb.exe file guys right so this is the uh, basic idea like how this thing basically working so now if you want to understand very deep what the hell is going on so feel free to refer the hunter's post perhaps absolute like phenomenal writing over here and now 
you can uh, uh, find out uh, this awesome dynamic analysis in any run as well so again do not worry i have linked down in everything in my github repository okay so you can just simply play and come here and just to see how this thing is basically happening what are all the files that is being executed and as i told you right so you can come to here in this process section and you can see as i told you right so msdt yeah uh, so windows.exe so once you open those uh, uh winward dot uh basically the windows file what is gonna do it's gonna load up a winward.exe which will load msdt okay so before that it will try to kill your msdt if that is something is legitimately running right so now there are processes there are things is basically going on you can see it right you can see it live now coming to the section how what are the defender perspective okay so what you should do from a defender perspective to identify what the hell is going on so i have listed down the iocs feel free to uh use these iocs on your edr solution but uh so in most of the cases what is happening so microsoft uh in in this the uh, the original file that i was uh, just exploring this original file um was getting captured by ms defender okay but it was pointing to a very old cv from 2017 but that is not actually the case right so we are talking about something else over here so now if you route to the microsoft post over here for a second so they are telling you that um you will be getting these trojan uh blocks if you try to execute that but community has given um a tons of pocs and even you can test those pocs out so i have written down those pocs over here in this section um yes understanding the exploit um you can you can uh see see in this particular section over here okay and there is a section called testing and researching correct so if you come to this section there are a lot of poc john hammond made himself a poc there are uh, uh, other pocs that can be found by case van coutine and all those uh, people okay so feel free to uh exploit those things into your own lab to understand what the hell is going on coming to the mitigation plan so still now as far as the recording of this video there is no patch available from microsoft so what is the mitigation that you can do okay so you can so as per microsoft removing the protocol handler from ms microsoft msdt is likely to the safest mic mitigation but totally depends on your risk factor and um you can obviously try to do and try to see if you are completely removing this particular registry key using this particular command and uh, you can you can definitely do it at scale as well okay so um if uh, i will leave down a, a powershell script that can be utilized to perform this activity at scale but feel free to first do the testing if that is fruitful so at this point of time i believe it should be okay but test it out in your production environment and another solution if you are using microsoft attack surface reduction so you can check out what is attack surface reduction in this particular link so they are giving you the solution to block all office application from creating a child processes okay so because this particular thing will spawn up another process using from your microsoft office application right so if you are using that attack surface reduction uh, techniques and if i license from microsoft you can enable that that will give you some kind of uh, mitigation steps okay but coming to the discovery so how you will identify there is something bad going on okay so definitely one thing is that from the list of iocs you can uh, create your uh, rules you can create your correlation rule based on your firewall logs based on your um, uh, proxy logs dns server logs if any connection is going to this particular dns particular connections uh, and if you have identified these any of this executable if you are seeing into your network definitely you have to check on them okay other detection strategies again uh, you can ident you can run the sigma rule again created i believe it was created by huntress uh, yes so there are also detection rules uh, created by balagane so I, I i am not the author of these uh, rules from ms defenders plunk curator graylog and obviously the elastic kql so you can refer their full article for sockinvestigation.com you can 
uh, fine tune these rules depending upon your own need but this gives you very good understanding or uh, uh, place at least to work with something right rather than have nothing at your place okay so there is another query that has been created by brent uh, so you can leverage that as well if you are using elastic sim uh, another important stuff is that apart from all those queries you can uh, identify or you can go uh, to check off your registry keys specifically the h key users software microsoft office 16.0 and under server cache okay because why i am referring to it because of that particular reason okay so whenever your office application is trying to do some uh, c2 communication or trying to reach out to an external ip address so what it's gonna do it's gonna store those ip store those domain inside the server cache okay now if you see those domains that we were talking about or anything any malicious domain inside the server cache definitely you have to look on that okay so that is one detection strategy you can definitely refer on you can refer to this yara rule developed by joe security you can even if you are using velociraptor definitely you can go to the detection strategy and even if you are using CrowdStrike Falcon as an EDR solution, you can definitely use this query to identify if something bad is going on to your network or not. Okay. So that's pretty much it uh, uh, about today's episode. So I just wanted to come and uh, let you know that. Okay. So because do not panic this particular situation, we can call it zero day, end days, whatever may be, but do not panic. Do not um, run here and there and do not raise the red alarm because community is handling is pretty well. Okay. So you need a proper mitigation step how to identify and most importantly educating your people okay so educating your end user do not click anywhere do not download any answers like suspicious emails attachment and stuff like that and even this particular exploit can be exploited if you are just simply hovering over your mouse right so educating your user is very very important okay so yeah so feel free to use this uh, github repository and i'll be updating this uh, frequently as soon as i find new updates from community um, and people so they are doing really awesome job so feel free give them a shout out for whatever the jobs that they are doing there are a lot of credits uh, uh, that is due in this github repository i have tried to mention their name but you know there are a lot of people okay so really thank you guys so uh, whatever the work that you are making and i hope this episode for you people who are watching it could be something useful so that now you can go back to your sock and prepare your detection strategies right so yeah i'll catch you guys next time with a brand new episode maybe threat hunting yes so yeah stay healthy and stay safe